penalty kicks. What do you do? Do you go right? Do you go left? It turns out there's a mathematical formula that tells you exactly what to do. And one player followed this formula almost perfectly. Which player? The answer will surprise you. Penalty kicks are a classic two-player game. There's the kicker and the goalie, and each one has a decision to make. Do I go right or do I go left? And each potential combination of those decisions has payoffs. For the kicker, it's of course better to go the other way than the goalie. The problem being, you can't predict which way the goalie is gonna go. So what should you do? Well, let's look at some classic two-player games for guidance. The most famous of which is The Prisoner's Dilemma, a version of which you could play at home. It's time for game theory. Take a cookie, cut it in half. There's two people and each person can opt to play split or steal. If you both play split, you split the cookie. If one of you plays split and the other steal, the person who played steal gets the whole cookie. And finally, if you both play steal, no one gets anything, just the crumbs. Let's analyze what you should do. Now you don't know what your opponent will do, but if he plays split, you'd be better off playing steal because you'll get the whole cookie. And if he's playing steel, you should also play steel because crumbs are better than nothing. Let's be a little more formal. In game theory, we usually use a payoff matrix to represent the game with one player on the left and then one player on the top. Then we have their possible decisions and the payoffs based on those decisions. Playing steel always gives you more, no matter what the opponent does. A cookie is better than half a cookie and crumbs are better than nothing. So steel is the dominant strategy for both players and therefore we know where the game will end up. In game theory, this is called a Nash equilibrium. Now, in this specific game, both players could be better off if they agreed to cooperate. How players might do that is the subject of another video. For now, we're just gonna assume that people only care about cookies and not the love and respect of their fellow family members. A valid assumption? Let's roll the tape and find out. Okay, on the count of three, you ready? One, two, three. Oh. <laughs> So, my son is a pure cookie maximizer. Not sure if I should be proud or horrified. The point is, we know where this game will end up. Penalty kicks are a different story though, because in The Prisoner's Dilemma, I have a dominant strategy. No matter what my opponent does, I should play steal. In penalty kicks, depends on what the goalie will do. But I don't know what the goalie will do. So I have to play a mixed strategy. Go left sometimes, go right sometimes. But how often should I go right and how often should I go left? Well, to answer that, we need to use some math. Can't all be cookies and cute kids. We gotta break the numbers out at some point. For simplicity, let's assume the goalie always saves it if he jumps the same way I kick. And let's assume I always score a goal if I kick the opposite way that he jumps. So the payoffs then would look like this. If I go right and the goalie goes left, I score. And the goalie's team effectively loses one. If I go right and the goalie goes right, no goals are scored. Similar outcomes for going left. Now let's define the goalie's probability of going right as X. Therefore his probability of going left is one minus X. So if he goes right half the time and left half the time, we would get 50-50. But let's go back to assuming I don't know what the goalie is gonna do. So if I go right, I can expect a goal one minus X percent of the time. And then my expected payoff is one minus X. The probability of the goal and the amount that I would get, which is one. If I go left, I get a goal X percent of the time, so my expected payoff is X. Now, here's the trick. We assume that the goalie chooses his probability of going left and right to not give me any advantage of going one way over the other. Because why would he? He doesn't want to make it so it's better for me to go one way, then I'll go that way. Therefore, the goalie will choose X such that my expected payoffs are equal to one another. So I don't have any advantage. Now we gotta do some algebra to solve for X. Don't worry, I already did it for you. You just gotta relax as the equation solves itself. Just let the math wash over you. Okay, so we can see the goalie will go left half the time and right half the time. Then we can use similar logic from the goalie's perspective to solve for my optimal probabilities. And as we would expect, I too should go left half the time and right half the time. Easy enough, but the real world isn't like this. Players are better one way or the other, and they can still score even if the goalie jumps the same way. Let's look at our mystery player's actual penalty kick success rates. 
When he went right and the goalie went right, he scored 69% of the time. A nice percentage to be sure, but he was even better when they both went left. And when he went right and the goalie went left, he got a goal 96% of the time, 91% of the time when he went left and the goalie went right. We can translate these percentages into payoffs. That looks like this. Now we can do the same algebra as before, and we can solve for the percent of the time the player should go right versus left. Now let's up the significant digits here to be as accurate as possible. Okay, and here's a nice song about algebra as this equation solves itself. We're doing algebra. We love that algebra. And we find that he should go right 43.2% of the time, and left 56.8% of the time. What did he actually do? Well, he went left 55.3% of the time and right 44.7. Just a 1.5 percentage point difference. Pretty close to exactly what the math said he should do. So who is this human soccer computer? Player known for emotion. Flawed as we all are, never would be described as coldly rational. Rather, he was mercurial, brash. In short, the most human of players. But when it came to penalties, he was a calculator, randomizing innately as the math would suggest he should. Maradona, the robot. Contradictions abound in the beautiful game. <laughs> Nobody gets the cookie. Nobody gets the cookie. I throw it away. You just can get ready, okay? All right, you throw it away in the trash can. <laughs> yeah, you actually threw it away. <laughs>